Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing a full-on fog lamp makeup tutorial. Recently I've been keeping it light. I really haven't had much makeup on. Today I just want to have bold eye makeup. I'll talk more about like the inspiration and all of that whenever I start the tutorial. This will kind of be once again like a tutorial but also chit chat. Maybe have some parts where it's speeding up. Whenever I started I was freezing but now I'm burning up. I'm probably gonna have to take this off at some point in the video but it's fine, it's fine. Let's just get on into the video. I'm not gonna start with my face, but I am gonna start by kind of priming with the nice Hydra Touch primer. Even though it hasn't been like freezing yet, it's just been like chilly weather. My skin has been dry all the time. I'm gonna start by prepping my lids with my Sandy Super Smith Concealer. I am gonna set this just because I am using the RV Jaclyn Hill palette once again. Literally, it's all I'm gonna use until I get that James Charles palette. Then I'll just be using that one. I'm going to set my layer with a matte powder close to my skin tone. Be right back. This shirt looks cuter with a bralette, but I didn't feel like putting on a bra. So yeah. Today I'm gonna use Jax, maybe a little bit of Hunts. For the inner lid, I'm gonna use Queen. For my transition shade, I'm gonna use Butter. So Bun said the names, I've pointed to them, now you know what they are. So now I'm just gonna be saying the names. So I'm using Butter, just very lightly. So I did this look last night, so I'm doing it, but I just kind of played around with makeup as well. So like, it's a little crazy, but I'll pop a picture in. Now, I love doing that because it literally looks like magic. Now I'm going in with buns. I'm going to go in with more dense brush, which is the E126. I was just using the E127 by Huey Studio, as always. Yeah, so this packs it on a little better. The James Charles in Morphe palette, I literally was not expecting it at all. But when I saw the thumbnail, I was just like, what? I was so surprised. I don't know why I wasn't thinking that. You know, I wasn't. I was literally so shook. I'm literally still so shook. I'm so excited. It took me a while to get the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I thought that this had everything in it, but literally throwing no shade to Jaclyn at all. I'll probably still use it just because it does have so many more neutrals in it. But like his, he was like, I just want this to be have everything you need and literally everything you need is in there like i've wanted a palette that has the colors of the rainbow i go through it in my head and i'm like really g biz that literally has the colors of the rainbow plus more plus cool shimmery and most of it is mattes which i love now i'm going in with Jax. that is a palette that i'm no doubt no doubt i'm purchasing it i'm gonna purchase when it comes out in on ulta or in ulta i know that it's gonna sell out real fast anywhere hopefully they're gonna have a good stock i know like a lot of people are already gonna be doing videos on them. By the time this video is up, there's probably already videos <laughs> up on it because people have already gotten it in PR. It's, it's fine. I'm gonna go in with Hunts and put that in like the center of the lid. I am literally obsessed with the palette. You thought I used this palette way too much? Yeah, well. <laughs> I thought I did too, but mm, girl. Now into the next thing I'm gonna talk about. I've never really done fall looks on my channel before. I'll do like go-to videos for seasons, but like I never do like looks like this for fall just because I feel like they're so basic. But then at the same time, I've just never done them. Not even on my free time because I'm just like, well, I'm not gonna waste my time with like a regular look. I've never tried out Emery Brown Smoky Eye. Basically the reason Jaclyn Hill created this palette, like I've never used like certain colors in here just because like they're more like bold natural colors, if that makes sense. I haven't used because I just don't think to use those and most people would think to use those first. My brain just automatically thinks only the looks that are colorful or creative are gonna go on my channel. I I think I want to start like a series like back to the basics or something and not even being that natural but like bold natural looks if that makes sense. Things that Jaclyn Hill would do basically, those are like her staple looks and like things that I would never have done before. So they're technically still going out of my comfort zone even though they're going to be natural colors. This look screams fall to me. These two colors together, this deep red maroon color with like gold. I literally passed someone for 0.2 seconds that had this kind of makeup on with this color and gold. I don't even know if I could like see it well. Maybe that's not even what she was wearing but like I saw that. I was like oh my goodness that is so pretty. I have to recreate that. I don't know why recently these baby wipes have felt like scratchy to me and i used to like be able to remove my makeup with these but like now it just feels like like this feels scratchy so i don't know if my skin has gotten more sensitive or what just let me know if that's something y'all be interested in i'm probably still gonna do it even if no one responds because i just need video ideas and like no one gives me them the videos that do pop in my head i haven't even done so i just need to start doing things that i want to do not wait around for you <laughs> So now I'm going to take Queen and literally barely putting any on my finger because it's literally so pigmented that if you like load your finger up, you'd get way too much. This is no Fix Plus, no primer, just the shadow base itself. 
take the shade below it and tap it beside it. Take this brush and just blend it. Now I'm going to take my Santi Glitter Liner in the gold one. And just go on top, put a whole bunch, and then just tap it out. Okay, the eyeballs are finally done. I'm going to do my face off camera. It just saves a lot of time. I'll know what I do. And if you don't, go watch my go-to makeup look. I'm just going to go ahead and do my primer, BB cream, concealer, powder. I have powder on my, like, pimples. I went out and did my brows. I'm going to wait and do bronzer, blush, and highlight till after I do my lower lash line because I really just want to see this look come together. But first, I'm just going to take this brush, like, with nothing on it. I'm just going to take what's on it and make its own transition shape. And then I'm going to take this dense, smaller brush. But it's still a little fluffy. I'm going to take buns, bun. Jacks. Mostly focusing this on the outer part. I'm gonna go in Elf Detail Crease Brush with Hunt. Buff that up. I'm gonna go in with Jacks as well on that on the very outer corner. Trying to get those two to join. I'm actually gonna take that crease brush with a little face powder and blend the edges so they aren't harsh. I'm going to put Queen on this brush. Tap it off because you don't want too much going on at once. Once it's about up to how you like it, then just go back in with the glitter on the inner lower lash line. And I'm also putting it on the inner corner. I'm going to take that same brush and pat it out. And from my highlighter, I'm going to use this gold shade to cover that inner corner. I'm kind of blending this upwards. I'm going to do that with another shade. I'm going to take the shade that's right beside Queen, copper shade, and do that little raised up inner corner thing. For my bronzer, I'm going to use the e.l.f cool bronzer. I'm gonna mix all the shades and use it on the AOA Studio F20, but I just want a really bronzy look. I'm actually gonna take just a more precise brush and go in with that shade in the very hollow. For blush, I'm going to use Wet Mild Rosé Champagne on my same F22. I feel like it will just bring out the lid shade. For the highlighter, I'm of course going to use Soap X Makeup Revolution Highlighting Palette. I'm going to mix the top three shades, make a more golden highlight. For mascara, I'm going to use Maybelline Lash Sensational, and I'm also going to put Master Precise Skinny Gel Pencil in the tight line, but I'm not doing false lashes, so technically it's not like full glam, but it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. So I actually ended up putting Mr. Bean in the waterline for the lips. I'm so excited because I've literally never used this color on my channel before since my lips watch video of these. For the lip liner, I'm going to use the LA Colors Lip Liner Pencil in Chocolate. And then I'm going to top it off with the NYX Laundry Liquid Lipstick in Beauty Mark. I feel like I applied that really well. Yes, girl. Finally, this is the finished look. I feel like actually everything ended up pretty well. Even though I don't have lashes on, I still feel so glam. This looks so pretty. Oh, my goodness. I love this look so much. Once again, let me know down below if you want to see that back to basics kind of series. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, I would love it if you subscribed down below and please give this video a big thumbs up. It means so much to me. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!